Hello, hello, sparkle lovers. This is Alice. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. You know the drill. Turn on that for a resolution on the video. Today we have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club, and it's a little different than usual because it is a mystery kit from one of our favorite artists, Randall Spangler. If you've been with Diamond Art Club for a little while, you probably know it is one of the most popular artists. His artwork features a series of draglings, got some cats and dogs bookshelves and things like that, some whimsical magical castles. I've also unboxed one of them on my channel before. So aside from Reynolds Spangler, the only other artist I would really love to see a mystery kit from is probably Yume. However, based on the category name, winter, and the aspect ratio, I kind of guess what artwork this is. But because this is a special mystery kit, I'm going to make this video into sort of three sections. So the first section, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, unbox the box and I'm going to show you the sticker sheet, maybe show you some of the diamonds. That's like no spoiler completely. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you sections of the canvas, one section by one section. So this is partial spoiler. If you kind of just want to know what elements are in there without seeing the whole canvas, you can look at that. But then last but not least, if you're like me who usually want to buy mystery kits and kind of knowing what image it is, then the last section is definitely for you because I will show the entire canvas, going over some of the details of the elements that show up on the canvas, as well as look for where the AB diamonds and the special diamonds are. So without further ado, let's first take a quick glance of Randall Spengler's artwork as we have come to know and love, then we'll dive into the kit. So I've got Randall Spangler's website right here. As you can see, this is his signature artwork, Trains of Dreams, also printed by Diamond Art Club. It's a really, really long kit. And this is so many books, so little time. Um, this is a library one that I don't think Diamond Art Club has printed any from the series yet, but one can only hope. So let's see, let's go into the biography. Oh, look at that, very nicely dressed gentleman. And I love that he has all his artwork in the background of his either art room or library, I could only guess. So he's from Missouri. And he has been in love with art for quite a while. This paragraph sort of tells about his life story and what led him into this lifetime of creating art. It's pretty poetically written. I don't know if he wrote this himself, but I would say he's not only a great artist, but also definitely a great writer. So his artwork is pretty much featuring a bunch of whimsical characters such as the draglings that we have come to know and love, the Dagmar and the Dewey, which we haven't seen by Diamond Night Club much yet. He began his professional career in 1977. Since then, attended thousand art fairs, renaissance festivals in 19 states and won over 100 awards. Definitely a very well accomplished artist. So let's go into some of his artwork. The draglings are the ones that we like the most by Diamond Art Club. A lot of them have been printed into Diamond Art. For example, Sleep Tight, I believe this one has been printed. Flight of the Fireflies, definitely printed. Dragon Wagon, I'm not sure whether this one has, but if not, it's definitely a very cute one. Celestial Dream, this one definitely also printed. Dragon Brigade, I think this one has show up in the voting round. Flight of Imagination. One of these two have definitely showed up in the voting round, so I can only hope they're going to come soon. Universe in the Jar definitely also printed Train of Dreams. I actually have this one in my very stash. My stash has kind of grown, you know, in the last six to eight months of me getting to this hobby. And Randall Spangler is definitely an artist whose artwork I really like, that are really, really cute, but not feel like every single one of them I could hang on to my wall. However, for Train of Dreams, it's just so adorable. I cannot resist. Zoom Zoom is definitely also printed. This is a really cute one, especially with the name. It's like Zoom Zoom. So yeah. 
I won't go further into other categories. You can probably go on his own website to view more of his artwork. The reason I won't go into any more of his artwork is because I'm assuming the artwork we're unboxing today is on his website already. So avoiding spoilers, let's dive into the kit. All right, so here is the box and this is my trusty little scissor. Let's get into it. So here we go. Here it says, Mystery Kit Winter. It doesn't have the number on here. So I think on the website, they would name it with a number. And it's by Randall Spangler. We ready to pull it out? Ta-da! This is the toolkit. Let's see. You guys know I like to always find out what uh, cover minder and washi I got. Ooh, look at this bunny. It's my cover minder. And here is the washi tape. I can't quite tell what pattern this is actually. Just generally red. Oh well. Here is the slip that usually only gets included for a mystery kit. See if you're a detective can solve the mystery. And here is a sticker. You can see it's square and it's only 20 by 27 inches. It's by Randall Spangler. So here is the canvas. All right, because I want to avoid spoilers, let me just pull out the drills without revealing the canvas. So the canvas is still sitting here. This is a note from the founder. Thank you for your purchase. Here are the diamonds that has the Mystery Kit Winter label on it. So if you store them separately, you'll be able to find out which kit it is for. So here is the sticker sheet. I'm using this white background just so to help camera focus. But as you can see, there are 57 colors. And the last one, Z3865, is probably a special diamond. I don't know what color it is, but from what I remember, I think the ones that start with Z is the fairy dust diamond. And there is 107, 108, 131, 3ABs. So there are 3ABs and one fairy dust diamond. And yeah, from the sticker sheet, you can't really tell what color is in there because as you know, mystery kit are all having black and white symbols. So hopefully, if you want to retain the mystery as long as possible, you can't really tell what the pattern is on the canvas until you do the artwork dot by dot. Uh, sometimes some people might be a little bit pickier trying to not want to find out what the image is until the very end. Then what they would do is try to put release paper on as soon as possible or maybe even get someone else in the family to do the release paper for them such that the pattern is completely covered as well. So now we're gonna go into the slightly spoiler part where I'm gonna show you a group photo of all the diamonds and some parts of the canvas section by section. So if you don't want any spoiler alert, thanks for watching so far, I'll see you next time. But otherwise, let's see. So here is a group photo of all the diamonds. There are some light blue and white colors some darker blue over here, some green. All right. While this is sitting here, let's look at the canvas section by section. I'll also zoom in so that you really only see a section at a time, all right? So here I go. I'm basically finding out what this image is with you guys. Let's see if my guess was correct. All right, this is one section and I'm gonna roll up a little bit as we go into the next section. The 
and then a little bit more into the next section. Is that a little dragon? I'm not sure. All right, let's keep going. And this is the bottom section. One thing I'll say is since Diamond Night Club has changed the format of their Mystery Kit canvas into having basically noisy color background because these colors are not the actual colors of each dot, the mystery has become harder to see even when you just look at it at a glance. So, so far I'm still not sure if this is the image that I think it is. So. In just a moment, I'm going to show the whole canvas. But before I do that, I'm going to lay out the diamond colors. All right. So here is all the colors in this kit along with a few special diamonds here. 107, this is a red AB. 108, this is a green AB. And 131, this is a orange-yellow-ish AB. And these white ones here, Z3865, is a fairy dust. So it's a white fairy dust diamond that we've seen in a few recent new kits. So in order to find out where these special diamonds go, I'm going to zoom out even further to show the entire canvas while we try to find where they are. I might be a little bit slow given how hard the mystery pattern has become, but let's take a look. All right, now this is the moment for the full canvas review. But given how hard the pattern had looked, I'm not even sure I can figure out which painting this is, so we're just gonna take a look together. All right, let's roll this open. So this is the full canvas. Let's see. Can I recognize any detail on here, given how hard this pattern has become? Hmm, I feel like given that Randall Spangler has, you know, been famous for his draglings, this is the tail of a dragon, but I'm not sure why this dragon is so tiny. And then this might be another dragon. Hmm, I feel like this is a Christmas tree, but if you find out which one it is, let me know because I have one that I'm thinking of. So if that's you for thinking on the same page. But let's focus on the special diamonds. So here is the red AB 107, the green AB 108, and the yellow AB 131. The symbol is one, two, three, respectively. Let's see if I can find them. So I see some number two and three sprinkled in here. This is the top of the image. Some two and three little bit in here, in this region. But do I see any? Yeah, there's some number three here as well. So number two and three around here. And I see some more, number one over here. I'm not sure what this is, but there's some number one over here. And over here. And then we have some number two over in here. That's kind of most of them because the bags are not that big. But then we have a lot of this one, which is a white fairy dust diamond. Let me put them into the diamond trays just to show you a close up.
Here we go. Super close up look of the fairy dust diamond in white. It helps it with the contrast of the red tray is really, really bright. I remember when I was uh, seeing the fairy dust diamond in In The Moment, I was so excited. I also thought that it's some silver glitter on a white diamond. It would totally make sense that it would also look very good as snow. And given that this is a winter themed kit, this is probably sparkle on all over the place as snow. So let's see. We have it all around over here, a big, big patch. We have a little bit in the corner over here, a bunch of them down here, a big patch as well, and a bunch of them sprinkled in here. Some of them in here. some of it in this region. It seems like a face of a snowman, I think. But yeah, here is a bunch of them over here. I think that's about it. We have three bags of these white fairy dust diamonds. So have fun with the sparkly goodies. Also, just in case you are watching this on a laptop or TV, I'm going to put it vertically so you can see the artwork in its original orientation. All right, so now that we have seen this entire canvas and some of the special diamonds where they go, and here is the artwork next to me for you to see how the size compares next to a real person. It's definitely smaller than the ones that are landscape and mystery. It's a pretty manageable size. So if you wanna do it in a quarter, even if you're a slow painter like me with multiple work in progresses, I think you can definitely do it. And if you didn't watch any previous parts and didn't want spoilers, here's the back of the canvas for you to have a sense of the size of the artwork. If you are a fan of Randall Spangler's artwork and you would like a winter themed kit, this is definitely the one to get. So I wish you the best of luck on Wednesday. With that being said, if you like to see more diamond painting related content just like this, I hope you'll give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see what kit I'm working on, sometimes help me decide on video ideas, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. I hope we stay in touch and I'll see you next time. Bye!